Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how connection of fire alarm system is done in our home. If somehow your home, office or company catches fire, then to detect it, we use detector. There are many types of detector. For now, I am using three different detectors. This sensing device here is known as smoke detector. It means when your home catches fire, then smoke which comes from fire, this smoke will be detected by this device. After this, here I have MCP. Full form of MCP is manual call points. It means if you want to tell manually that there is a fire, then in this condition, this type of MCP is used. In this device, you can see here it is written, break glass, press here. It means suppose the fire is started and your detector didn't work, or you want to tell manually that there is a fire, then simply what you have to do, simply break this glass, through this a signal will be generated which will be detected by this panel and this will generate the alarm. After this I am using heat detector here. Now besides all these devices, there are various types of detector, let's have a look on these. First one is heat detector, second is smoke detector, after this there is a carbon monoxide detector, besides these there is a multi sensor detector also and last one is manual call point. The manual call point is not actually a detector, you have to operate it manually but I added this also here. So how many types of detectors are there, you can see here. Now working of all these devices is only to detect fire. Now working of all these devices is only to detect fire caught in your home. After detecting it, a signal will be generated. This signal will be sent to fire alarm control panel for informing panel. Friends, this fire alarm control panel is mostly of four types. First is conventional, second is addressable, third is intelligent and fourth one is wireless. Wiring which I am going to tell you now, this wiring will be of conventional type. I mean manual one. In conventional type of fire alarm system, there are zones. What is zone system, I am going to tell you through an example. Suppose your house is of three floors, you are going to do connection of this fire alarm system in a way that on ground floor, number of fire alarm systems installed, these all will be connected through one wire. After this, for first floor, connection will be different and for second floor also, connection will be separate. I mean circuit of this will be different. Now this ground floor is considered as zone 1. First floor will be zone 2 and third floor will be zone 3. Now on whichever floor there is a fire, particular zone of that floor will give indication. That is, in this control panel, there will be an indication which describes zone 1 caught fire or zone 2 or zone 3 caught fire. So this type of indication you can see here. After this, second type of fire control panel is of addressable type. In addressable type of fire alarm system, in this detector address is set. If through this detector, fire is detected, then in this condition, in your control panel, there will be an indication or number will be displayed on display. That is through which detector, fire is detected. In address type of detector, we can set number. That, which number fire detector is this one. So that when fire is there, then you will know at which location the fire is on. In conventional type of detector, you will know only about the zone where fire is on. But in a fire alarm system, where we can set full address, then you can track the exact location. Just by looking into control panel, you can track the exact location of fire. After this, third type is of intelligent type. In intelligent type of fire alarm system, you will be able to know that through the detector, fire is detected or if there is any fault or is there any requirement of cleaning the detector. These all things will be told to you in control panel. So through this, you will get the address and along with this, what is the problem there, that also will be notified to you. After this, fourth type is of wireless. In wireless, what happen is, with the detector, there is no need to do any connection with the control panel through any wire. Whole communication is wireless. So fire alarm system is of four types. Right now, I am going to explain you wiring of conventional type. As I told you, in conventional type of fire alarm system, we divide in zones there. I mean we divide different parts of home and we do the wiring accordingly. For now, I want to do wiring in this home. For wiring, what I do is, if inside of home there is a huge fire, then I will consider it as fire in zone 1. I mean inside home, I connected these three devices, so I am considering this as zone 1. Now outside part of my home also requires connection of detector. 
that is if outside the home there is fire then for this i have to connect three more devices here also now these three detectors are connected in zone 2 working of these devices is just to detect fire and this control panel here monitors it and along with this it generates an output through which we will be able to know that there is fire besides this control panel we have to use a hooter also if you want you can use multiple hooter also for now i am using only one hooter whenever there is fire this hooter starts making sound now besides all these devices we have to use resistance also the resistor we use here is known as eol resistor what is the use of this i will explain you later now to provide power supply to this fire alarm control panel we will use a switchboard here and to this switchboard i already did the connection of power supply now with this switchboard we have to use a plug top and through this plug top wires will be connected and in this fire alarm control panel you will find an option to connect wires connect these wires there in some of the fire alarm control panel already there is a plug top you just have to connect it with the power supply if plug top is not there then inside this you can find terminals on which it is written phase and neutral where phase is written connect phase supply there and where neutral is written connect neutral supply there now inside this control panel you have to do connection of battery also in some control panel there is a small battery whose connection has to be done for connection there are two wires in the panel you just have to do connection with positive and negative right now i am not showing you any connection of battery because battery is kept inside the control panel keep one thing in mind during connection of battery that battery is of 12 volt or 24 volt if it is of 24 volt then you have to use two batteries and if it is of 12 volt then you can connect a single battery so after connection of battery in this control panel you will find an option for connection of these detectors there zone 1 zone 2 is written through zone 1 terminal connect the wire and with first detector to the connection in this smoke detector how to do connection i am explaining you this now this diagram which you can see here in this connection of smoke detector is shown in this diagram you will find total four or five terminals in some there are four in some there are five terminals so on the terminals numbering is done one two three four five like this or plus in plus out minus in minus out like this you can find the numbering for wiring of particular zone bring positive power supply of that zone and connect with plus in and bring negative power supply and connect with negative in after this through out terminal positive power supply and negative power supply is to be connected with another detector here two smoke detectors are used that is if you have two then do the connection in this manner how you have to do connection you can see here so we provided power supply to this detector now as i told you through this detector only looping of wire will be done to provide power supply to another detector what you will do from the point where you will get output power supply take the wire and do the connection with another device for now i am doing connection of mcp here behind this mcp if we look then terminals here are like this different types of mcp are there how to do connection you can find details on the terminals only for now just understand in this detector there are total four terminals what you have to do here to negative terminal provide incoming power supply negative one from output of negative power supply provide power supply to another detector through a wire the way you did the connection of negative power supply in the same way you have to do connection of positive power supply on these terminal detail is given that where to connect which supply so connection of this mcp is done now take power supply from here and provide power supply to heat detector now how to do connection of this let's see this also in this heat detector also connections are done in same way you can see here different terminals are given and there is numbering on terminals connect negative power supply with negative and connect positive power supply with positive terminal similarly through looping of wire provide power supply to another device in other detector also you just have to do looping of wire now in zone 1 the number of detector you want to connect connect like this and the last detector here power supply from this detector is to be connected with resistor i mean bring both the wires like this and do the connection with resistor why we use this resistor let's understand this also friends meaning of eol resistor is circuit which you are using for connection at the end of circuit so why we connect this resistor 
let's understand this suppose we have a battery and with the battery we connected a led to glow this led for this we have to connect positive power supply and negative power supply both then only led will glow if we don't use any led here we just connect the wires like this then in this condition short circuit will happen it means from here high current flows your battery will soon discharge and your wire may also get damaged so what we have to do here at the last of the circuit we connect a resistor what happens on connecting resistor is current which is flowing from here amount of this current will be reduced now through this resistor amount of current which flows through this amount of current fire control panel can send signal only connections we did of these detectors in this connection we did only looping of wire now after all the looping when we reach at last point and if we leave these ends of wire open then circuit will not be completed for completing this circuit we have to connect both wires if we directly connect these wires high current starts flowing and short circuit will happen this is why we connect resistor here so that we can limit the current value of the resistance depends on voltage of circuit with the control panel only resistor comes you can simply use it the way we did the connection of zone 1 similarly we have to do the connection of detectors of zone 2 so i am directly performing the connections here i did the connection of all of these you can see how connection is done now through all these detectors only fire will be detected after detection a signal will be generated which is to be sent to control panel now in this control panel there are many types of indications normally you will find three types of indications first indication will be of fire second will be of fault third one will be of open circuit besides these you will find more indications depends on the type of control panel for every zone different indication is provided like for zone 1 indication is different for zone 2 indication is different if among these three detectors any one generates alarm then in this condition fire indication of zone 1 will glow doesn't matter if this operates or this one or this one through this circuit if signal is generated then it will glow only indication of zone 1 similarly if fire is detected through these detectors then in this condition fire indication of zone 2 will glow now in this fire control panel there are two more terminals through which you have to do connection of hooter so through these terminals wires will be connected to hooter for hooter connection at the back side of hooter there are two terminals on which you have to connect positive power supply and negative power supply if you have more hooters then you have to connect those in parallel to this after doing this much connection if your house catches fire then your fire control panel will generate alarm and you will be able to know that there is a fire friends i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video